Hey guys, Al Cameron here, founder of Veterans Voice of Canada, coming to you from Red Deer, the Parkland Mall, and uh, our History and Trust and Learning Center. I just wanted to say, give a quick shout out to the Parkland Mall administration for allowing us to be in this space. Uh, they truly understand the importance of history and what we do at Veterans Voices of Canada. So thank you very much to the Parkland Mall. Um, I decided it was time that we start doing something called uh, Artifact of the Week. And I wanted to start this, uh, this time with what well, you see right behind me here. And what that is, is it's a 1968 or 69 Rallys bike. But the really cool significance of this is that it was actually one of the bikes that patrolled on the Green Line in Cyprus. So our guys, our Canadians, our Canadian UN NATO peacekeepers, as well as many other countries, patrol that demilitarized or buffer zone between the, uh, the Turks and the Cypriots to prevent that, the, those two factions from coming into too close a contact and uh, fighting, warring. So our guys were sent there to patrol that line and to keep that from happening. So this bike was actually gifted to me by a gentleman, a veteran named Graham Olmsted, approximately eight years ago. And um, this is one of the bikes that his, his guys used to patrol that green line. When he came back in 1971, I believe he said it was, he brought this bike back. So this is an actual bike that was used to patrol the green line in Cyprus. Let's give you a quick look at it. It's not in the best shape at all, but I mean, it's, a, it's an amazing piece of Canadian military history. And I was honored to, to be gifted this by Graham. And give you a quick little look at it. It's again, needs some work, needs some cleaning up, some TLC, but it gives you a good idea of what, uh, what our guys use to patrol bicycle patrols over in Cyprus. You can still actually see the um, UN NATO blue on the crossbar here and a little plug for rally here we go um, again it's it needs a little bit of work a little bit of TLC but it's really cool to have this piece so I'm very uh, fortunate to have this along with a lot of the other items we have here at the History and Trust and Learning Center but I invite you to come down to our center here in Red Deer uh, we only ask for a minimum donation to come in and see the amazing things we have here um, we're open from Tuesday to Saturday, 10 to 4.30, and you can drop on in, talk to us, take a look at the cool artifacts we've got here, and just enjoy and appreciate some history. Unique, world-class artifacts here, and uh, yeah, just come on down, see them, help us do what we're doing. We're all about honoring our past and present heroes through historical documentation, tributes, and displays across Canada, and this is just one way we do that. So, take care. Flags of Remembrance is coming up soon, guys. Uh, honor your your hero through a plaque of honor sponsorship and you can go to vetvoicecan.org to learn more about that or come in here to the uh, history and trust learning center talk to us and we'll tell you a little more thanks guys have a great day take care of yourselves be good to one another and we'll talk to you soon cheers